Coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to a brand new tutorial series. It's a long awaited series that uh, a lot of people that a lot of people have been asking for and now um, I'm actually producing this tutorial series. So in this tutorial series we're going to learn the ins and outs of SDL. Uh, we're going to learn uh, how to create images, how to create a window, how to write text, how to play audio, uh, just uh, basic things that are needed uh, uh, to create a video game. We're going to learn uh, how the actual framework works inside and out and all that stuff and so you should have a good working knowledge of how SDL 2.0 uh, actually works by the end of the tutorial series. Um, some people may ask this, uh, so this question, am I going to be incorporating OpenGL with this SDL tutorial series? As of right now, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have a separate OpenGL tutorial series, and then later on, I might have a series on combining SDL with OpenGL, but I kind of just want to keep the tutorial series um, kind of separate. When I'm actually creating the OpenGL series, I might use uh sort of like the s for sdl for like the window creation or so on and so forth or i might use something like sfml or i'm not exactly too sure yet but as of right now for this uh this sdl series i don't think i'm going to be incorporating anything about opengl just a heads up of uh, if you guys um were going to ask that question so anyways uh let's get started um let's just search uh sfml 2.0 download and oh okay and um we're gonna download whichever one um whichever ones uh, whichever development sorry whichever development library um suits your needs so if you're on mac you can download this if you're on windows one of these two uh if you're using visual studio this one if you're using mingw this one right here so in this tutorial we're using visual studio so I will download the Visual Studio uh, version and I already have that downloaded and so when you extract that um, let's uh, let's go to where I extracted it so when you extract it I have mine in a folder uh, called linker files and you have your lib and it says 64-bit uh, and 32-bit be wary that this these represent your version of Visual Studio that you have. So if you download the 32-bit version of Visual Studio, then make sure you use the uh, x86 files. And if you download the 64-bit version of Visual Studio, use the x64 files. Um, it's not based on your Windows system, it's based on the Visual Studio version. Just a heads up for you guys right there. And then we have our include files right here. Okay. And so I'm going to be showing you how to actually incorporate it into Visual Studio. So what we want to do is we want to create a new project. Now you can create a new empty project, but I want to create a new uh, a new console application. And the reason why I'm selecting a console application is because I want to be able to to write things to the console window. Um, so it's really good for debugging and error checking. So uh, that's something that I really want to um, implement. So we're going to say SDL, uh, I'm just going to call this SDL YouTube and I'm just going to click next and we're going to click an empty project and we're going to finish that. Um, we're going to add a new main.cpp and give me a second, I'm just going to close my window because it's raining. Alright, so um, before we even actually get into code, let's go to our project and our properties. So what we want to do is we, we want to go to uh, configuration properties. Then we want to go to linker and the general tab. And in the additional library directories, we want to highlight that and click edit. We want to double click it and we want to go to where we actually extracted our files. So mine's in the D drive, uh, linker files. STL 2.0.3 lib and my version of Visual Studio is a 32-bit one so I'm gonna click the x86 folder and as you can see the path name is right there and we're gonna go to the C slash slash C++ go to the general tab and we're gonna go to the additional include directories and do the exact same thing but with the include folder so let's go to our linker files 
and include and then we're gonna say select the folder so we're gonna click OK there and last but not least we're gonna go to our our input go to additional dependencies when that error shows up error shows up sorry we're gonna click edit and we're gonna put SDL 2 dot lib and we're gonna say SDL 2 main dot lib note that the casing is important uh, so once we're done that we say apply okay we're just gonna be doing a little program just to see if everything is in fully working order so we're just gonna say SDL dot H and we're gonna create our main, uh, main. Uh, now we, we can't uh, just use the regular just in main without any uh, uh, any arguments in there so uh, because our program actually won't run it still requires it to be a, a certain way uh, so that it's cross platform so it runs on um, yeah any platform we need it to be so we're gonna put in argc I'm gonna put char argv uh, with uh, for an array and if you don't know any uh, if you don't know about command line arguments you can watch uh, my tutorial my C++ MIDI's tutorial on command line arguments and um, if you if you guys don't know where that is you can um, ask me and I'll give you the link to that uh, so if you want to learn more about command line arguments but that doesn't really uh, matter too much about this in this tutorial series so we're just gonna say SDL init and we're just gonna say SDL init everything just to check if everything's fine I don't like when things are in all caps and we're just gonna say SDL quit so that's how we're gonna do in this tutorial and we're just going to uh, click F5 to run it and uh, it says SDL main what must return a value sorry so we're gonna return zero run it with F5 and as you can see it says SDL 2.dll is missing so what we want to do is we want to go to our lib file and whichever one you you're using and as you can see there's SDL 2.dll now there's one of two things you can do you can put this in your uh, VC uh, bin folder where you've uh, installed Visual Studio uh, but what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna go to our, where our actual project is go to SDL YouTube in our debug folder where our ex executable file is just paste it in there and then when we run our program again as you can see there's no error so you just see a black window pop up the console window and that's it so anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to like on Facebook and follow on Twitter. And in the next tutorial, we'll actually create a window. So that's it for now. Also, don't forget to check out my website. And if you have uh, any problems, uh, feel free to post in the forum. So bye for now.